For this video, we will cover how to complete one trait Punnett squares, specifically the ones with Mendelian or true dominance. This simply means that there is one dominant version of the trait and one recessive version. Let's do freckles, which is a dominant trait, and let's use Fs for freckles. Let's say we have a cross between two heterozygous individuals. The first thing we would have to do is determine what the potential alleles are that each individual can contribute to the cross. So let's start with the male. He is big F, little f. So he can give off either a big F or a little f. Mom is the same way as she is also big F, little f. So she can also give off either a big F or a little f. Now let's make the actual Punnett square, and since this is just a one trait cross, there should be four squares in the middle. I can now make a line across the top far left box and place my male and female signs in here. Then I can add the specific potential alleles to the corresponding boxes for both the male and the female individual in my cross. At this point, I am now ready to solve it, and I simply multiply the alleles against each other. So top left will be big F, big F. Top right will be big F, little f. Bottom left will be big F, little f and bottom right will be little f, little f. At this point, I would technically be done filling out the Punnett square, but normally there are a series of questions asked at this point. For example, with my cross, what is the genotypic ratio of the offspring? Here, I am just asking, what is the number of homozygous dominant individuals to heterozygous individuals to homozygous recessive individuals in the cross? If I look at my cross, I will see that there is one homozygous dominant indicated with two big Fs. I have two heterozygous individuals that have both a big F and a little f, and I have one homozygous recessive individual that has two small Fs. So my genotypic ratio comes out to be 1 to 2 to 1. Now keeping on the genotype side of things, I could also ask what is the percentage of the offspring that will be either homozygous dominant heterozygous, or homozygous recessive. And in this case, we're just going to do a little bit of simple math. If our four boxes are equal to 100% of the offspring, then each box would equal 25%. So since I only have one homozygous dominant individual, that would be 25%. I have two heterozygous offspring, so that is 25 plus 25, or just simply 50%. And lastly, my one homozygous recessive individual would be the last 25%. The numbers should always add up to 100%, so if they don't, you may want to look at your math and see where the error might be. Now, I can also look at this from the phenotype side and ask a question such as, what is the phenotypic ratio of the offspring in the cross? Here, I am simply worried about how many will express the trait, appear dominant, and how many won't, appear recessive. So, since the trait is dominant, any individual that has at least one big F will express the trait and have freckles. In this Punnett square, that is the homozygous individual and both of the heterozygous individuals, so three in total. And my one homozygous recessive individual will not have the trait. So overall, the phenotypic ratio will be three to one. I can again ask the specific percentages and what they're going to be. Here we are simply worried about the percentages of dominant phenotypes to recessive phenotypes. So since three of them are expressing the dominant allele, that equals 75%, 25 multiplied by three. And only one is expressing the recessive allele, so that still leaves 25%. Again, the numbers should add up to 100%. Now let's go ahead and try and reset. We are still going to be looking at freckles we're going to be having a different set of parents to make the cross turn out a little bit less perfect in a sense. Let's say we have a cross between a homozygous dominant, big F, big F, and heterozygous individual, big F, little f. Now the male can only give off big Fs, and the female can still give either a big F or a little f. Let's make our Punnett square. Let's add our signs and put in their alleles. Now let's solve the Punnett square. Top left will be big F, big F. Top right will be big F, little f. Bottom left will be big F, big F. And bottom right will be big F, little f. Now let's do the genotypic ratio and math. Let's set up our homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and homozygous recessives. 
Now we have two homozygous dominant individuals, we have two heterozygous individuals, and we have zero homozygous recessive individuals. As such, the ratio becomes 2 to 2 to 0. While the zero may be assumed, we still tend to indicate it for good practice. Now in terms of the percentages, we would have 50% homozygous dominant, 50% heterozygous, and 0% homozygous recessive. Let's move on to the phenotypic data. In this case here, all individuals have at least one big F, so they would all have freckles. As such, the phenotypic ratio is 4 to 0, and the percentage would just be 100% dominant and 0% recessive. Make sure that as you go through and complete Punnett squares that you follow the basic steps. Figure out what alleles can be passed by each member, set up the Punnett square, multiply each set of alleles against each other, then complete the genotypic and phenotypic ratios and math. This concludes our video covering how to complete one-trait Punnett squares, specifically the ones with Mendelian or true dominance.